Today we're talking about measuring the total tree height and there's a couple of reasons that we would want to know that measurement. One is just determining how a stand is growing and how tall the trees are getting. The other is determining the site quality. In other words, this soil and slope and amount of sunlight, how well can it grow a tree? So when we get total tree height, we can use that to determine site index. And we have charts that show, based on the height of the tree and the age, what the site index of that site is. And site index is measured in 50 years, so it's an average of how tall a tree would be expected to get. Total height of a tree is used with a chronometer. This is also another instrument where you have to be 66 feet away from the tree. This is a good time to talk about our chain, our 66 feet distance away from a tree. It's one of the things that we use to make sure that this is an accurate number and a consistent one every time. And the best way that we measure that out in the field is by taking steps. But as you can assume, we don't all have the same length of steps. We don't all have the same length of legs. So one of the best ways that you and your team can practice before getting to the test day is to lay out a measuring tape for 66 feet and then all of you take a few rounds of counting how many steps you take from the beginning to the end of that line of tape. You can decide to either take your left foot step as one or left and right each as one. Now we look through the chronometer, letting the string hang down, little windows on this side. You have two measurements you need to take. First one is at the base, the second one is at the top. Now we look through the chronometer. On the one side is where you measure total height. On the other side is percent. You take the horizontal line, line up with the base of the tree. Here I'm getting about a negative 10. Then you go up to the top of the tree. If you can't find an obvious top, look through the tree like almost like an umbrella and imagine where the top of the tree is. But this one here is very distinctive. I'm getting about 75 up there. Now if your first measurement is in a negative, then you want to add it to your top measurement. If it's positive, then you want to subtract it. You call it triangulation. When you're negative, you're above the base. That's why you're getting a negative measurement. It's tricky. Um but it's also fun, so, and it takes some getting used to.